because it is 2.10 in the morning. Yeah, it's 2.10 a.m. and um, I'm having me a little glass of wine. This is um, Trader Joe's um, Peach Bellini for 4 dollars If you're near Trader Joe's, you might wanna check that out. Um, so I'm coming number one to review a product for the first half of this video second half I want to talk to y'all about something so this is Sunita's um, Facial wash cleanser um, It's an enzymatic ugh, enzy, Enzymatic foaming cleanser a daily cleanser. I was watching this girl's live. Um, her name is Ashley Shay if I'm not mistaken I'm going to put a little picture or a video of her Facebook. She does skin, okay? She's in the profession of skin. I don't know exactly her name, like what is that called? An esthetician, I think that's what it's called. Um, but she deals with the skin. So she was doing a live or whatever, and I just popped on and I was watching her and I just happened to ask her what is a good um, facial cleanser for somebody that has like oily, areas and then the rest of her face is kind of dry so um she referred this to me i bought it from her for 32 dollars but whenever i wound up doing my research i found it on amazon for like 20 some bucks for the same amount and everything so i would definitely um go to amazon and i'll actually put the link below to the amazon um for this same exact product but um it's not to say don't go to her it's just to say you can get it somewhere cheaper but she also does other things um, that I really want to look into um, doing for like my mom or me or for somebody's birthday. I really want to look into doing it for somebody. Y'all, she was so sweet. She literally like made sure I got like my tracking information. And if there were problems, she just was very good with communicating to me that hey i thought this was gonna be here today but this and this and this and this and it was just a good experience because it was through cash app and that kind of was like uh, at first at first i was like uh, i was like well, no it's her business it's her name i just can't imagine and she got like a whole little family she got a kid and stuff so i just couldn't imagine her doing that shysty you know what i'm saying so that's that on that so let me put my headband on take these glasses off and we're gonna get this face clean period pro generate enzymatic foaming cleanser a pore refining cleanser that lifts surface impurities without irritating or drying the skin a balancing formula of natural food acids enzymes and gentle foaming agents combines to resurface detoxify and brighten Skin will appear smoother, more even, and ultra soft. Okay, 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 sunny days. Period. <laughs> Dipping my face in a bowl full of oranges and lemons. My goodness. So my face feels really good after that. Um, 
it don't feel like it was too harsh or nothing it feels it just feels like it cleaned my face and I'm about to put this jelly mask on here while I talk to y'all and sip on my wine so this is a, um, a watermelon jelly mask that I actually got from um where did I get this from? CVS. Moisturizes and hydrates your face after you cleanse it. Cleanses it. After you clean it. Um, I'm out. This is in my bag. Okay, so let's just gently put this, right? Let's just be a little gentle. She's wet. She's been punctured. Okay, but she's on. That's all that matters. Okay. Y'all, this is the most difficult task ever. Just put your knees on your... I feel like it's gonna be amazing. It really do. Like, seriously. And I can like still talk. Oh, dang, I'm messing this bottom piece up. Who did you think you were? Who? Um, so what I did want to come on here and talk to y'all about. Um, so the other day I was on Facebook. Everything happens on Facebook. I gotta stay off of there though. It's Ratchet City, like. I see the most negative stuff on Facebook and I don't have any other social media like besides like YouTube and I have Snapchat but I don't really get on there no more. I just created Instagram though so but that's strictly gonna be on some positive vibes only. So if you're negative don't come on now. Don't. Go find something to do. But don't come to mind. So anyway, I was on Facebook the other day and I happened to come across this post that another fellow mom, that's on my Facebook, had posted. But she kind of was bashing the lady. So, you know, bashing her and basically just saying that, you know, she shouldn't have become a mom. So I'm like, oh, well, what did this lady do so bad that somebody would say that to her? I feel that. I feel my my own program that I have also adopted through being a woman in America, a single mother in America, and the gaslighting that happens as a single mother towards oneself and receiving the messages growing up in our in 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 the society in America. The level of no, I'm fine. No, everything is fine. No, my feelings don't matter. I should just I should just do it. I should just deal with it. What this video is about, what the big message that I want to impart is that single motherhood is not natural no matter how you spin it. No matter how empowered you can you can convince yourself to feel as a mother because yes, motherhood is empowering. Motherhood is a beautiful thing. It's a lovely thing and there's a whole other side of it that we're not talking about, that people aren't talking about. Trying to raise a child by yourself is insanity. I tried it. I was losing my fucking mind. Between validating myself in that and, and convincing myself that everything was fine, that I'm fine, that this is as good as life is gonna get, that I took on this responsibility as a mother, that this is just what I chose, so it all falls on me. So I'm expected to carry this weight. No one should ever, not even a single family household, should be raising a child by themselves. It should be groups of people and villages. And yes, it's a great concept, right? We all talk about it. It takes a village to raise a kid. How, how often, how long have we been talking about this and it's not actually happening? I know y'all probably can't take me serious with this mask, but take me serious. So, um, I go to the lady page 
And basically, this woman has, just as a long story short, um, and I'm gonna give y'all her Facebook page um, right over here to the side, so y'all can go and check her page out for yourselves. Um, long story short, she just had her child taken away from her, okay? Being a single mother is insanity, and it's not what we as humans are supposed to be doing. And honestly, when she said it, it kind of tripped me out, yeah? Okay? And so when she explained it, she explained it as, um, we always talk about it takes a village, it takes a village, and you always hear, it always takes a village to raise a kid, it takes a village, you know what I'm saying? And it, there is no village in all actuality. And if we really think about it, when the Indians were here and when um, Africans were in Africa, you know what I'm saying, before they were slaves, um everybody was in a tribe and everybody was a collective thing to take care of these kids and um you know everybody stuck together it wasn't really no going off you know what i'm saying like you probably went off and had your own little hut but you was near and dear you know what i'm saying you know i don't know if it was a hut or not but that's just my example You probably went off and had your own little thing, but you definitely was near and dear to the tribe. I um, I thought like, wow, like she is so true. Like this is not something that we're supposed to be doing on our own. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be a tribe. The man is supposed to be there. The woman is supposed to be there. You know, everybody's supposed to be raising these children all together. And it's just not like that. And she also said another concept, talked about another concept, my bad. I'm drinking this wine, so I'm feeling a little good. Um, talked about another concept about how we are not supposed to sacrifice ourselves wholly for our children. Sacrifice our entire selves, our entire being, our entire selves, mental health, happiness, all types of stuff. We're not supposed to to do that, excuse me. And so that was another idea that kind of tripped me. So I'm like, we're not supposed to sacrifice ourselves. Like that's all I've ever seen my mom do, is sacrifice, sacrifice ourselves, sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. It is at the detriment of the mom's mental health. And I was like, oh my God, that is so freaking true. Like you have so many moms that say, well, I stayed with your dad so you could have both parents in the home. I stayed um, in this situation so you know what, so you would know what it feels like to have both of your parents. I stayed, you know, I continued to deal with them or I took this from a person or I sacrificed this and you're ungrateful. And she was like, and you know, when you begin to sacrifice so much, you resent your children and in your mind, every time they don't listen to you or they don't do something that you have advised them to do, you will find yourself calling them ungrateful. You're not grateful, you're ungrateful. You're ungrateful, you're ungrateful. And I'm like, damn, like that's so true. I have been a witness of it. Sorry, I seen a shadow, thought it was a damn young. And I don't know why, but naturally as a mom, you begin, you immediately, before your child is even here, you feel like you need to be sacrificing everything immediately. And the dads, they will sacrifice. I think a lot of dads will sacrifice, um, will sacrifice as far as financial goes. There's a lot of dads that's like, I'm gonna take care of my kid. You know what I'm saying? That's beautiful. But there are not a lot of dads that are like, I'm going to sacrifice my mental health. I'm going to sacrifice my happiness. Let's just say a dad don't want to be with the mom anymore. He'll be like, I'm sorry, broken home or not, I'm out. This just going to be a broken home. And that's the tea of it. That is the tea of it. And people don't want to face the truth. But that's the tea of it. That's the total tea right there. I mean, my lip is on fire because this tea is so goddamn hot. That's the tea of it. Somebody fell out of the damn bed. 
start making noise with towels because I can't do this. I'm already feeling good. I hope ain't nobody fell out of bed. But I would have heard some crying. I'm gonna cut it right here because yeah, this one started drying anyway. It's good. Okay. Damn. I'm gonna have to pick that up. <laughs> she looks good. So you just rub this into your skin. I'm about to take this hair down. Put my oh excuse me, put my bonnet bag on. And I'm finna hit the hay. Okay. Cause I'm tired. I am tired. Like seriously. Look at my skin. Like look. Seriously look. Thank you guys for watching y'all. Don't forget to go and check out her page. I'm going to have her link to her Facebook down below as well as Ashley's link to her Facebook down below. And y'all go check those two ladies out. Um, Yeah, that's it for this video y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.